In this lesson, we'll use the method of u substitution to evaluate the given definite integral. We have the integral from negative one to two of two times the cube root of the quantity three x plus five dx. The first step is to recognize we do need to perform u substitution to evaluate the integral, where u is equal to the radicand of three x plus five. So if we have u equals the quantity three x plus five, then differential u is equal to the derivative of the quantity three x plus five times dx, giving us du is equal to three dx. Notice the integral contains two dx, not three dx, and therefore I'm gonna go ahead and just solve for dx by dividing both sides by three. If we divide both sides by three and simplify, we have one third du equals dx. And now looking at the integral, we can substitute u for the quantity three x plus five, and we can substitute one third du for dx, and we can just factor out the two. We need to remember though, these limits of integration are for x, not u. So let's first write this in terms of u. Again, we'll factor out the two, and then dx is equal to one third u, We'll factor out the one-third, and then we have du. And the cube root of the quantity three x plus five is equal to the cube root of u, which is equal to u to the power of one-third. And now because we have the integral in terms of u, we need to determine the new limits of integration. Notice when x is equal to negative one, u is equal to three times negative one plus five, which is positive two. And then when x is equal to positive two, u is equal to three times two plus five, which is 11. And now we integrate with respect to u. We have two thirds times u to the power of one third plus one, which is four thirds, divided by four thirds. Let's go ahead and simplify. Dividing by four thirds, is equivalent to multiplying by the reciprocal of three-fourths, which gives us two-thirds times three-fourths times u to the power of four-thirds. Simplifying before multiplying, three divided by three simplifies to one. There's one, two, and two, and two twos and four. And now we have one-half times u to the power of four-thirds. Let's factor out the one-half. Now we need to determine one half times the difference of big F of 11 and big F of two, which gives us one half times the quantity 11 to the four thirds minus two to the four thirds. So this is the exact value of the given definite integral, but also I wanna show how I can write this back in radical form. A to the power of four thirds is equal to A to the first times A to the power of one third Remember when multiplying, we add the exponents. This is equal to a times the cube root of a, which means we can also write the exact value in the form of one half times the difference of 11 cube root 11 and two cube root two. And as a decimal approximation, we have approximately 10.9720 four decimal places. Before we go, let's take a look at the graph of the integrand function over the closed interval from negative one to two. Notice the area bounded by the function on the x-axis over the closed interval from negative one to two is above the x-axis. This indicates the value we found is equal to this shaded area. I hope you found this helpful.